today I am going to solve exam style questions of chapter number 8. In question number 1 we have been told that variables and constants both are used to store data in computer systems. Uh, you need to discuss what is similar between variables and constants and what is what are the differences between variables and constants. Uh, I have taken the answer from your book. These are the two definitions of variables and constants given on 336, page number 336 of your book. A named st uh, store that contains a value that may change during the execution of a program. Um, actually, um, the variable is an empty space in that you uh, allocate inside your memory and um, later on during the execution, execution of a program, you save your answers or values into that empty space. By, whereas constant is a named data store that contains a value that does not change during the execution of a program that uh, this is also a space inside your the memory of your computer but you allocate um, you assign a specific value to it and this value will not change during the execution of the program in question number two it is written that a programmer is writing a program that stores data about items stored in a warehouse suggest suitable meaningful names and data types uh, you, as you know that in any program uh, the name of any variable uh, uh, the, the names of variables and functions should uh, be without space so item name can be named as item item name but without space Manufacturer is fine, description is fine because these are meaningful names. In number and stock, the, the spaces between the three words can be skipped and kept, I should, uh, should be capitalized and S should be capitalized. Similarly, in reorder level, the space between these two words should be finished and the L of level should be capitalized. Whether the item is uh, on order or not, for that um, you can uh, just uh, uh, write on order status without space. So, uh, coming to data types, item name should be in string form, in ABC form. Manufacturer should be in string form, ABC form. Description should be in string form, ABC form. Number in stock should be in integer form because you are counting uh, the number of items. The order level should be in integer form and whether the item should be ordered or not uh, it should be in boolean uh, data type because boolean uh, has only two um, comprises of only two values yes or no. The next question is this uh, you have to uh, describe these programming concepts and you have to provide one example of each concept. Sequence, I have taken the definitions from, of uh, these uh, concepts from your glossary on page number 336. So, the sequence is uh, a program, um, are the steps in program which are in a in order. Selection means you have to make a different between a decision uh, between different options. In iteration, you uh, repeat a specific part of a program again and again. In counting, you count the number of items. Um, while in totaling, you keep on adding totals of different things. So these are the five definitions that uh, we are supposed to write in front of these uh, terms. Now, when it comes to examples, I have uh, written the examples of your book. The examples that were given in your book that in uh, sequence, uh, you write a program which is in a sequence. In selection, you make a decision and either you follow one path or you follow the other path. Uh, for, uh, you can you keep on repeating a specific code in iteration and in counting you count number of items. This I have taken all the examples of codes from your book and in totaling you total something into uh, uh, in totaling you are adding the weight into this uh, to, uh, variable named total weight. So you keep on adding uh, total you keep a record of total in totaling.